It's time for a construction update, and it's been a really long time since our last one. Guys, not too much has been happening on the construction site, so I am sorry that these construction updates have kind of gone a little, like, you know, a big gap in between them. But um, lots of exciting stuff has happened in the last couple days. So Timberwolf is having its, um, its lift hill kind of like reformatted or re- um, situated, whatever you want to call it, with the new rubber pads. Um, so maybe that's a sign that this isn't really going anywhere. I mean, it's not too costly, so it doesn't say it's not going anywhere, but maybe it really isn't. Maybe we're going to look at an upgrade. Um, as you can see, they finally finished all the Canadian, like, theming on this pathway. It looks amazing. This was filmed on Friday, if you're wondering why I'm not on the path. Um, there is some footage from today that I got and yesterday as well. The area is looking really great and it is pretty much finished. Something we did notice throughout the park is they're removing all of Canada's Wonderland's logos on the garbage pails throughout the park. This is really confusing and I wonder what this could mean. Are we looking at somewhat of a new retrofitted logo next year? Um, at Canada's Wonderland. So uh, comment down below, do you think Canada's Wonderland might like restructure its logo next season when they announce everything? Um, or is it just new stickers coming in? Um, so we finally know it was under these tarps and it's not exciting. So under the tarps was just easy pour um, footer cement concrete things that they pour concrete into to make cement, whatever you do to make a footer so that's all it was there that makes sense they don't want them to get wet because they're kind of like cardboard type materials um and um something else that's exciting from yesterday is all these markings appeared on the concrete or the pathway between um timberwolf and splashworks's entrance so we have all these weird markings it looks like they're either going to shrink the pathway a bit shoe cam <laughs> Um, and uh, there are some weird markings. So we have this new sign. It looks like they're extending this midway area over here. So it almost looks like they're making this area a lot larger. So you'll see in this next clip. Um, so the, again, there's all these weird markings um, that I don't know what they mean yet, but it almost looks like they're making a midway over near the old locker area where Splashworks was, where Lakeside Lagoon is now. And it's not gonna be anything to do with Splashworks because that area is already fenced off now. So it's interesting and I really like wonder what they're going to do with this area. Is the queue line for this coaster actually going to go under Timberwolf Falls? Because um, to me, that's what this area is suggesting. You have all these markings that look like they're widening the path, um, also turning the path into a different direction. It leads to the smoking area. And you're going to see in this clip in just a second that they extended the midway um, near behind Lakeside Lagoon a bit that they haven't opened up yet. So it's new brickwork and everything and a new fence going in that widens the path up quite a bit. So as you see here, they're widening the area quite a bit. So very interesting. I wonder what that could possibly be. Um, but some more exciting news is, um, I'm not quite sure what this is. Um, I do think it supports, it looks like supports. It's in this like new fenced off area, separate from the hospital construction. And it's like steel poles that look like early supports that can connect together. It looks nothing like something for a hospital as they use I beams or really strong steel beams, not support beams, similar to a coaster um, or theming. Um, they do have stickers on them, similar to the stickers you see on track and um, there are some PVC piping there as well, similar to what we're seeing on the construction site. And it looks like this separate fenced off area, um, similar to what Cedar Point did for Val Raven when they stored track off of site um, and supports. This is what I think that is. These things were wrapped like 10 times. They are heavily protected from anyone seeing them, uh, <laughs> which is interesting, right? They're hiding, someone's hiding something, whatever it is. So I, again, I can't confirm these are 100% supports for our coaster, but they do look like supports for a coaster. They are in what looks like a fenced off area, similar to what Valraven had um, when it was being built. And they have stickers similar to the BNM stickers that you would see on track. Um, from what we saw, we don't we can't we don't know the color fully. There were some similar colors to Leviathan in this area, but that looked like PVC piping. Again, that was separate from the wrapped up piece of track. So I don't know the color of supports, and I don't think we'll be able to get the color of supports. And please abide by all rules 
in property, on property, and off of property. So do not go in this fenced off area. Do not attempt to cross the fenced area and do not touch the fence either. These photos were taken from a road, that a public road. Um, so I didn't, I wasn't on any property at all. Do not try and um, go and take pictures. We will know this coaster soon enough in August and the teasing campaign is just about to begin. So there's no point. Let's just let it all play out. It's more fun that way. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? Comment down below, what color of supports do you think are gonna go with this red-brown track that you see on this diver wing coaster? Um, Cause I really don't have, I, I can't begin to think of what color support would go well. Is it going to be similar to Val Raven or is it gonna be slightly different? I mean, it's gotta be like, I I'm, don't wanna say golden yellow because of the Yukon Klondike Gold Rush theme at all. Cause I don't know if that would look good. Um, I'm kind of intrigued as to what color they would go with. Um, again, um, construction updates are going to be slightly slower than they typically are. They might not be every day just because construction has slowed down. I will still be going to the park every day to keep an eye out for, you know, teasers and all that. Um, and I will definitely provide an update. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, give it a like, subscribe and share it. Um, thanks so much, guys. Um, have a great one. Bye.